doing today? <laughs> so, today's video is just like a uh, general tips and guidelines on how to become a streamer. I've gotten this question so many times. Like, people are like, hey, can you teach me how to stream? Hey, how do, how do I become a VTuber? You know, things like that. So, I try to respond to everyone to their inbox, but sometimes it's like, you know what? Let me just make a video because I get that question so frequently. It's probably better if I just go ahead and make like a video kind of addressing all of it, you know? <laughs> um, so that's what today's video is going to be. If you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe, comment, and follow. Also, um, you can find all of my socials in my link tree in the description. So like my TikTok, my Twitch, and so on, okay? <laughs> so, anyway guys, um, just so you know, I did already make a video on my channel. Um, like, why or how I became a VTuber. <laughs> um, you can look that up. In fact, I'll try to tag it at the end of this video. So look for that. Um, but basically, it's just me going over the general idea, not too detailed, but it should help point you in the right direction, okay? Alright, now for this video, the first thing I want to say um, is consider what you want to do, like what you want to be. Do you want to just show some gameplay, maybe chat a little bit in the background, things like that, not really show your face? Well, there's options for that. Like, some people, they don't want to show their face, and that's okay. Like, I'm literally a bat. <laughs> I'm a bat VTuber, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> but yeah, so you don't have to show your face to start streaming, guys. In fact, you don't really need much at all. You just need whatever console you're going to use, and honestly, an internet connection. If you just want to stream your game, or whatever you're gonna do um, but if you want to talk and do other things then yeah it will depend on your microphone your sound um, do you plan on editing um, you know fun fact guys all of my videos are all in one take <laughs> well for the most part I don't go back and edit I just you know hit play and just start talking now I don't have the best microphone but that's okay, you know? I don't have the best anything, but I make it work. And that's something to remember. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars to be a streamer. And so just know what you want to do and who you want to target. Um, so I was talking to one of my fans and we had a conversation how to grow um, your Twitch. They were considering starting to stream and they're like, you know, I think I'm just going to stream on Twitch and grow from there. Well, guys, I hate to break it to you, but um, Twitch isn't really a good platform for that. Um, a lot of people who come on Twitch are either already there looking for you or looking for like content. Um, but it's better to do something called a conversion. Conversion, I'm sorry. Um, it's a marketing technique. Basically, I'll explain it like this. A lot of you guys actually found me on TikTok. <laughs> and then you came from TikTok and subscribed to my YouTube as well as Twitch. That's what we call conversion. Um, it's a good thing. It helps grow your channel and grow your identity. So it's something to consider, okay? Don't just jump on Twitch and hope to get like a single follower or a viewer. I was told that if you're basically streaming to zero people, you're effectively wasting your time. <laughs> so that's just a tip so you know that it's okay to stream on Twitch, but you want to also promote yourself on other platforms, you know, like Discord. Um, I did Reddit for a little bit. Um, most of my um, people who come over are from TikTok. I post some cringy videos and funny things and occasionally me 
just being silly and, and referencing my content here. Um, <laughs> so I just, my goal on TikTok is to just make people smile and post funny videos and just go from there. As far as YouTube and Twitch, that is mostly for you guys to have longer form discussion and reaction and have actual conversation, you know? <laughs> I don't have a Twitter or Facebook, um, but that's something to consider as well. So just tips to, that you need to know, okay? Sorry, I'm stumbling on my words here. Um, but basically, you want to be able to, in a nutshell, broadcast yourself and promote yourself on multiple platforms so some of that audience from there will come find you on Twitch, you know? Let's see here. Um, I also have, um, when it comes to YouTube, that's probably the best way to get actual organic traffic, traffic and audience. Um, as you guys know, I have like 3,000 followers on TikTok, but barely 200 here on YouTube, and that's okay. <laughs> They're not all gonna, you know, come over and be like, yay, we're part of Pumpkin Smash, and that's okay. Um, I'm just as happy with my first 200 subscribers um, as I am happy my first 3,000 followers on TikTok. <laughs> Um, so just know that you kind of have to upload at least one video every day, preferably on YouTube, just to try to work with the algorithm and try to figure it out. Um, recently I discovered that the way to grow your videos and channel, it really comes down to watch time. So what does that mean? Um, when I upload a video, I can look back on the analytics and see um, who's clicking and where they're dropping off if they're finishing the video. And it tells you all that, guys. And it's important because you want to make sure you're putting out content that your subscribers want, you know, so you can get better. <laughs> so when more people watch your videos to, like, completion, YouTube pushes that out there and more people will find you. But if you just post a video and like nobody clicks it at all, then YouTube doesn't push it and it recommends your channel like lower down. And you don't want that, you know? Um, so for me, I'm in the process of learning and cleaning up like my content and trying to make it better. Um, but it's just a learning process. I do feel like I finally figured out the TikTok algorithm. But YouTube's a little tricky, but I do know that watch time is really, really important, okay? So when you make your videos, ooh, go back and look at your analytics and see how you can improve. Oh, as far as TikTok, if you want to make TikToks alongside your channel, one tip I would recommend was whatever video you upload on TikTok or even a photo, make sure you put one of those songs um, that they offer in the background, even if it's muted, right? And the reason why TikTok will catch that and they'll push your video out faster. It's kind of a little secret to help get more views because people like that song, they're gonna like look it up and they'll find you. Uh, it doesn't work every time, but it has increased my viewers from like, let's see, 10, you know, viewers on a video or a uh, picture to like 300 or 800 or a thousand so it's just something to consider um and you'll also notice that if you go through my tiktok you'll probably see the same song i have muted in my videos so it's just it works so keep that in mind um there's this new thing i'm trying out as well on tiktok i'm not sure if it works but it looks like it might um when you add your hashtags at the end of your hashtags or beginning or where, you know wherever you want to put it make sure you hashtag yourself <laughs> you know your your username so as that grows as that video grows with more likes and comments hopefully um your name also gets pushed up in the algorithm so it's a little trick to know okay um let's see here i also want to mention 
guys, I've seen this comment or message to me a lot. Um, don't just try this for the money. I know, I know you hear that from probably every um, person on Twitch or YouTube or whatever, but it's kind of serious. Unless you're like this girl behind me who's clearly doing really well. Um, I don't even know who that is, but she seems happy and get all the professional stuff. Then it's, the money really isn't there. Um, instead, your focus could be on growing your channel and monetary, like a little bit of money, like be happy with every little donation. Like when I say it, I'm so, so, so thankful for the patrons and those who've donated. I'm not kidding guys, like I am very, very happy about that, <laughs> but seriously, um, make sure you acknowledge those who supported you. For me, I have a list of all of my original supporters and they will always be my original supporters. Um, so just to keep that in mind guys, like, it's not always about the money. It's, it's probably better, <laughs> excuse me, it's probably better to focus on, you know, making good content, creating better content, and those views will come along. And try not to get discouraged. Like, I know when I upload a video and it barely gets four views, you know, sometimes it's like, dang, but you just gotta keep trying and see what works. One of my first videos now has like several thousand views, but my latest videos only have a few, and that's okay. I'm gonna try to keep doing better. Um, also, at the time of this video, one of my TikToks <laughs> just went viral. Like, last time I checked, it had like 400,000 views, guys. <laughs> like, I don't know why. But that's the thing though, my point is with this, I guess a little tip, is just keep trying, keep experimenting, um, don't be afraid to fail, and it's okay to get frustrated, it's not gonna be perfect, you know? But as you grow and as you learn, you get a little bit better each time. Let's see, so don't rush, that's another tip, don't rush, um, don't feel like you have to have 100 subscribers within 30 days. Don't feel like you have to always like post 30 videos in one day. For me, I try to do my best to space it out so I don't get exhausted. I also take time off when I need to. Luckily, a lot of my videos are scheduled in advance, so I'll record them um, and then release them later. And so if I need a day off, guys, I can do that and you still get content. Usually. <laughs> Usually. Um, so don't rush yourself, okay? And then the other thing is, don't compare yourself to others. Like, I understand when you start streaming, you're like, dang it, why does Bob or Sarah have like 10,000 subscribers in the span of two days and I only have one? <laughs> well guys, there could be some factors behind that. Um, it could be a lot of things like agencies or services that help them get that very fast. Um, or it could just be dumb luck. <laughs> you know, like, they put out good videos and good content, you know? Um, so try not to compare yourself to others. I have a friend, and she has 14,000 subscribers on her, um, TikTok. And I think she has just as many, if not more, on her Instagram and Facebook. It's crazy. And they all constantly comment and like her videos and stuff. And so she did really well, really fast. But that just by happen chance. And I made a joke to her that once I surpass her, <laughs> I'm gonna make sure she knows. <laughs> oh boy. Um, the last thing I'll say guys, is just do your best. Like seriously, just try your best and see what happens. Um, for me, I literally just have my VTuber, my headset, my laptop, my PlayStation, and Streamlab. <laughs> That's it guys. I don't have some expensive computer. I don't have like crazy flashy effects. 
this entire video is one take. I just hit record. I'm going to save it. And I'm just going to upload it. <laughs> oh boy. But I wanted to make this video because I've had a lot of people ask me like, Hey, can I stream? Can you teach me? Hey, let's do a collab or something of that. And I would love to, that's fine. But I wanted to make sure that this was for anybody who wanted to know like some tips as well as um, what it's like. So I could get more into what it's like every day, but generally speaking, I just click my VTuber app, I click Streamlabs, and I just hit record and go. Now, obviously, I have sound in the background, so that's good. But just do your best, guys. That's really all it comes down to, you know? And don't forget about the people who supported you. I'm very thankful for all of you. Um, one of my uh, particular subscribers is very, very supportive. He comments on every video. Pretty much is Max. <laughs> Max, if you see this, you know. <laughs> I'm happy you comment so often, and in Silent Panto and a few others, um, I have their list here, but I wanted to make this really quick for you guys, um, so I'll see you in the next one, if you're interested in streaming, check out other videos going more into it, this was just a general idea for me, um, and I'll do my best to help anyone who comments on this video and wants to know more. If need be, I'll do a second follow-up to this, but for now, this is just how to get your streaming career started, I guess. <laughs> or better yet, just some tips, you know? Just little tips. Alright guys, until the next one, bye!